What's up? Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, Bible reviews every single week, and I always say, if you're interested in that, you can hit the subscribe button right now. But anyway, here today, I am going to be reviewing the NAS... Oh my goodness, I just kicked my tripod. <laughs> the NASB reference Bible. This is the 2020 edition, and this is actually the first NASB I'm reviewing on this channel, I think. Pretty sure, pretty sure. So, let's go ahead and get into it. It does come in this slip case. This is the Leather Tex Edition, the blue. They do have multiple color options. They have blue, brown, red, and um, genuine leather, I believe. So, But I'm gonna have a link in the description below so you can check all that out. Let's go ahead and get into this. Look at this Leather Tex. So, this is a really cool blue edition. The spine is blind stamped, which looks really cool, clean look. Let's see if that's coming in clear. You have Holy Bible, New American Standard Bible 2020, Reference Bible, NASB, Lockman Foundation, and then you have double tooled lines, one, two, three, four, five of those. So yeah, nice blind stamping, and then you do have a blind stamping of the ISBN on the back here. So yeah, first impressions of this leather text is that it's super floppy, super nice. I've seen a few other reviews of people talking about this leather text and how it was a really nice floppy feel, but having it in hand is like a totally different experience. It's, it, it is really nice. And when I saw other reviews, for some reason, it gave the appearance of being like almost like it would be plasticky, but it's actually really soft and um, really good feel, really uh, it surprised me there, it really did. And then you do have a really nice silver gilding on this one. Then you have two nice thick ribbons. Okay, so as an overview of what I'm about to do and what I do in pretty much all of my videos is I'm gonna go over to the desk, I'm gonna show you the sizing, compare it to some other Bibles, and then just kind of go through it really quickly to show you all the details of the inside. Let's do it. Okay, here we are. So here's a look close up of this leather text. Leather text is an imitation leather, so this is a stamped grain. You can see it has a slight marbling to it. So like a slight between variation and like dark and lighter blue. Looks really cool in my opinion. The spine, here's a look at the back. The ribbons. Net silver guild that looks really nice so let's go ahead and size this thing up it is about five and three quarters wide by about nine inches tall so really a personal sizing really even though it's not labeled as that it's pretty much personal sized here's a look at it compared to the CSB personal size which I also have a review of on this channel already it's a single column you'll see here fits directly on top same exact footprint slightly thicker and along with that will mean that is the same size as basic thin line. This is an NLT thin line. See, same footprint again. So there you have the sizing. Let's get into the inside. Boom! Now this is what makes this non-premium from Lockman stand out the most, and that is with having this paste down synthetic liner that is a really awesome construction feature that they are doing with their affordable Bibles and you'll see this one is kind of I think it's navy blue looks really nice sorry I have this injury from doing some yard work rip the skin off <laughs> But anyway, let's get into here. We have the presentation page. Now this is a like a semi-gloss cardstock. Same with these family records pages. 
This Bible is Smith's own and does have overcast stitching. Right away, you'll see how nice this thing lays flat. Straight away. Title page, NASB. Here's a look at copyright information. And on this page, you have your forward. And you have your books of the Bible. Also shows what's in the back, but we're going to go through pretty much everything. Old Testament title page. And then here we have your formatting. So two column, oh sorry, <laughs> two column paragraph formatting. See book title at the top, see bolded section headings, bolded big chapter numbers. Then at the bottom you're going to have your textual footnotes followed by all the references, over 95,000 cross references. And then these textual notes are actually going to be directly below the corresponding column that they belong to. So if you look here, see all your textual notes there, here, here, here. So that's pretty cool. It makes it easy to find instead of being um, away from the column. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so and then all of your cross references here on the bottom. Look at that. This is a 9.5 text size. And then another feature I know people will like to see is bolded verse numbers. So it's going to make it, aside from a verse by verse, this is probably going to be the next best thing to find your verses easily within the paragraph format text. Your page numbers are going to be in the centers and then your book titles and chapters on the outside edges here. I think we'll see the overcast stitching show on this page. Yeah, so if you want to see that. Wait, can you see it? It's so light, but it does actually have overcast stitching right there, so evidence of that there. So you have very little, basically no margin space on the outside to do any writing. But along with that, what is nice is that the text is pushed out from the center so you don't have any of your text running into the gutter. So that's really nice to see, in my opinion. Let's go ahead and look at poetic setting. Here we are. So as you can see, very nicely done. And I did forget to mention, this paper is 33 GSM, so very opaque, very nice paper, the same paper that they use in their premium editions. So it's a really nice quality paper. Here you have your verse by verse, and the verses are separated out from the text here. Now I'll flip through here a little bit so you can kind of get a look at a few different pages. Then we'll go over to the New Testament. Okay, here we are at the New Testament title page. Matthew. Boom. We'll flip through here a little bit. This is black letter text, so no change in color for words of Christ. Full black letter throughout this Bible. And then when you get to the back of this Bible, here are the features you're going to get. You're going to have NASB topical index followed by the introductions to the books of the Bible really cool feature that you don't often see so if you want intros here you have them right here in the back and you have a uh, read through the Bible in a year reading plan parables of Jesus miracles of Jesus followed by maps one two three four five six seven eight maps and your end sheet
Okay, so I'm going to need you to pause this video, go down to the comments, and give me your final thoughts on this Bible right here based on what you saw. And then when you're done with that, you can like this video if you've enjoyed it so far, or it's been helpful in any way, and then I'll give my final thoughts when you come back. Okay, pause. Okay, now that you're back, my final thoughts. So, I'm going to give most of the pros, right? Because there's always, like, the thing where it can be a preference type thing. So, like, let's say, like, double column. This is double column, right? If you don't like double column, then that's a con already. But I would say it's a pro if you do like double column. So let's go over, like, the pros I see from this. First off, this leather text. Now, let's go to a con, kind of. <laughs> I don't know how long this is going to last because it is a leather text. It is an imitation leather. But with that being said, it is very nice, and this thing is a quality built Bible, Smith's own, right? Um, so, I mean, and not only that, but the premium-ish paper, it's the same paper that you get in the premium editions of these NASBs in their prime. So, you're getting a really nice paper, nice construction. So even if this leather text doesn't hold up as long as you want it to, you could get it rebound and keep it for a long time. But with that being said, let's get back to this one in particular. Very nice, nice and floppy. If you like floppy, you're going to like this. It has a nice color combination, I think, with this blue and that silver gild. Looks really nice, even with these ribbons. Nice, like, color scheme going on here. When it comes to the inside, the font size, I think is a really nice font size as well with 9.5. My personal preference in font sizes is between 8 and 10. Anything over that is like big to me. Anything below that is kind of small. 9.5 is a nice large-ish size that I think the general population would enjoy for the most part. Another plus within the text of this Bible is the bolded verse numbers. So if you're somebody who likes to see, be able to find your verses fairly easily, even in a paragraph format, then that's there for you. I think it's really cool that they have the book introductions in the back as well. That's something you don't see a lot in, um, in general from what I've seen in the Bibles I've reviewed. The synthetic liner in an affordable Bible, I think that's something a lot of other publishers should consider. A lot of other ones do paper liners all the time, even in their kind of mid-range $40, $50 Bibles. And this one is cheaper than that, and you're getting a synthetic liner. I'll have a link again in the description below if you want to check it out, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.